spell effect, and it was a fighter command grab. <laughs> oh, they go for command grabs a lot. They just don't regular grab much at all. They need they need to start doing the uh, the slide into the command grab. They do regular grab in the bell matchup though. I've seen it. It is po it, it does happen. Oh, because yep, it's it's really all you can do against Bell. Yes. Oh, Angel jab is one. So good at just jumping. Yeah. Through. Wow. The Angel's spacing with this character is absolutely insane. He's like, he's so like... precise about his landings. Um. The jab one mix-ups especially, he'll do like jab one into like grab shield or jab again. But he won't always finish the jab, he'll usually go for like a j another jab one over doing like multi-jab. Because multi-jab doesn't work very well. Hmm. So Lucky King this very close but a slight lead for Angel. Great power shield, SDI is out of the shuttle loop and then power shield is the next hit. Remember that, shuttle, that power shield does 24 no matter what you counter. It is 8 damage for regular shield, th triple for power shield. And right there we see it. The jab yeah. one, flash your shield and then and then uh, shield. Uh, uh, flash your shield and then grab, rather. Because then if they try to grab you, like reading a grab or reading a shield, you get the shield iframes into an immediate grab of your own. Okay, but Selig was also really good at reading when Angel was going to drop shield there. Oh yeah, Selig was playing this matchup quite well. But the dash attack will sneak under, and that will take game one. Yep. Uh, so now the question, does Selica go over to the fighter? Because Dedede is not a good idea. Mennonite is better than Dedede. I think fighter is by far the best pick. Oh god, it's the Dedede. Well, if any Dedede can do this matchup, this is the one. But... But this is Bell Dedede. This is a bad matchup. Really bad matchup. Even Croc thinks so, and Croc doesn't think Dedede has bad matchups, even though he thinks Dedede's bad. <laughs> Selica has a pocket wrestler, apparently, according to Kyo. I, I haven't seen it in bracket. I mean, I assume Selica can play pretty much anyone with how much he's played the game. Correct, yeah. Tonight is a good night. We got to see... The legendary Angel Bell. And looks like we're going to Butter Building now. Alright. So, Butter coming out from Celica. I like this. I think Celica is very comfortable here. Bell is pretty neutral on this stage across the board. I don't think it's anything unusual, one way or the other. But it'll be Bell Dedede. That damage, it's insane. Damage. <laughs> oh. And right there we see Bell out zones DDD, and then Bell out boxes DDD. Um we have now covered pretty much all phases of this matchup. Um Bell doesn't Bell doesn't really box with anyone, it's just you you try and box and then you Yeah, you try to box and Bell simply says no. Oh yeah, seeing Angel Bell again is a lot of fun. It is so good. Oh, you're trying to zone here? Have this transcendent projectile. Yeah, it is semi-transcendent, so it won't go through the hammer throw and keep going, but you cannot hit it with a normal move. Isn't there, like, waves of the, that thing? The very startup is transcendent, and then because it's not even a projectile, really. It's just a normal hitbox. And then the projectiles after that are semi-transcendent, uh, which is the same as fighter or fireball. Um... And there it is. The shield, shield flicker take will it. take game two. Also, I just saw this in the in the Twitch, like Twitch feed mm -hmm. behind. But Angel used the uh, the light version of the like the like the hop move. I forget what it's called. Um, uh, I think it's ding finale. Is like there's quick finale and then ding finale. Yes, so use the Brian Ding finale to <laughs> catch a roll in, and that was really good, because it lasts a really long time, and, um... Selica's playing, playing Sword. Yeah. Alright. Sword mid-time, here we go. This is, um... Oh this is worse. This is worse than MK. It might be worse than DDD. I'm so confused at, like, the reasoning, because it's, it's just MK, but shorter range. 
And range is the only, like, it's the only reason that MK doesn't win the Bell matchup. <laughs> oh, that is true. Celica's tier list had soared, like, an entire tier higher than Meta Knight. Oh. Celica's tier list was wonderful. It was national treasure, to be honest. <laughs> was that Ninja yeah. top one? Um, Bell bottom one. Everyone else in, in the tiers in the middle. He sent it to me the first thing that I did it, wake up in the morning. <laughs> like I Also, Selic is up like 50 health. Just for the record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This like, is I, kind I of insane. And the first thing I saw was a DM from Selica. With a tier list. Said, yes, in the, in the caption, pretty much, the caption was cool. It, it cool. Was cool, yes. I was like, oh, nice. <laughs> oh, yeah, um... As Q is reminding me, Bell was in, uh, or Ninja rather, was in Super Fantastic tier. Yeah, yeah, that's the That's the name. <laughs> and Sword was in High tier. Or Good tier, rather. Oh my god. <laughs> and he's trying to prove it right now. Be... This is, this is insane. Everyone's gonna be like, Sword mid. Salaka has gotten every read correct pretty much this entire game. Like, the exact moment that Angel dropped shield there, there was a sword jab. This is wild. Yeah. Wow. Angel what was that? Oh, please don't lose a game to sword. Everyone's not going to shut up about it. Oh, really great roll read. Angel getting back in this. Does the sword beam take it here? I, I thought, I can't remember if swords be, oh no, it's the same amount. Now on one health, but Selica now on three. Angel has brought this all the way back. And the Sword Beam takes it. Sword Beam is fully transcendent. <laughs> so it will go straight through those Bell projectiles. And Selica wins game three with Sword. <laughs> sword good. So, Selica, no reason to switch. He's gonna stay sword. Kyo, you better not be DMing me. <laughs> I'm Kyo, do it, right I dare now. you. They're, they're paying me real fake money. <laughs> oh. I've got a DM. <laughs> Wanna read it out to us for the stream? Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a picture of a tier list. All it says on the, <laughs> like, it's zoomed in on sword and it just says good tier there you go and there you have it folks sword good tier going over to factory i think this is a much better stage for bell this is a really scary stage um in my opinion fighting bell i feel like uh angel should use more uh ding finale I think we want to see more of Bell of uh, Angel's like jab one, like jumping jab one mix-ups. I think that's what he was missing. He was playing super defensive, and Selica was just getting really good reads on like when he was putting up and dropping shields. Um, but what we see from Angel when he's really working well is he doesn't just play defensive with Bell. Like he's he's very aggressive. Ooh, that was great. Yeah, a lot of things like oh, that. Mistimes the grab just barely. So like it outspaces the regular counter, but can't outspace the power shield. So what I'm seeing from Angel is he almost uses shield as something that's not shield. Oh yeah, absolutely. He uses it as like a spot dodge with a hitbox. Two power shields gonna do a ton of damage. Which sounds Oh really the hat weird. thrust jumping off the um the shield in there, that's interesting. Makes sense though, the sword's pretty far below and he like pogo sticks off it. Also, I'm glad you knew what I was talking about, because I was afraid that it was just going to be like... No, I know exactly what you mean. Also, that shield counter missed. I don't really know how. And, and like, that's definitely the right way to play Bell. Because I know, I see a lot of people playing Bell, and it's like, oh, I'm going to shield as if it's a shield. Alright, there's a grab from Celica. But also... <laughs> so, yeah. Angel went into full anomaletics mode for about 10 seconds, got hit, and then went back to playing Angel Bell and won the game. Just uh, jumped up actually, to the sky, air puffed for as long as he could, flashed shield on the way down, 
got hit for it, because that's not actually good, and then went back to playing Bell and won the game. Um, <laughs> I was watching a Mars video today, and he was actually talking about how some players, if they're in a uncomfortable situation, will try and escape the situation and reset, and then some players will continue to get bodied in that same situation until they learn to deal with it correctly. Uh, I think that was just a moment where Angels chose to just kind of escape, escape and... Mm -hmm. I, I mean... He's not the only one. <laughs> Celica was doing the exact same yeah, thing Yeah, that's kind of Celica's game. default. <laughs> yeah. Um, but funny enough, Mars was talking about how the player who, like, chooses to scrap and, like, tr find the right answer while staying like, inside pressure, is tends to learn faster than the player who escapes. I would agree with that, yeah. Most of the time I find my biggest um, weaknesses in a lot of matchups are when I play scared in specifically those situations. That was very dangerous, Angel. Alright, there we go. <laughs> oh, did he dash tag? He dash tagged and it, like, barely missed. Yeah. It's Angel, though. He's built different. I'll chalk it up to Hiwa. He planned that. Ooh, Fantastic sequence from Celica. So, the thing about this matchup, um, Beetle's command grab can be power shielded, but not regular shielded. Because um, it has a hitbox okay. on it as well. So if you power shield the dash grab, you will, inv you will invincibility, frame you will iframe through the grab, and then you Wait. will counter the hitbox. Um, if you regular shield, you will get hit. So, it's, a, it's one of those ma matchups where Bell has to be very, very good. But if they are, which we all know Angel can be, then it is quite good for Bell. It is much easier so physically for Beetle to play. I'm so hyped to see Angel. What was that? How did that not hit? That was actually crazy. Oh, and the quick finale will go through. <laughs> it's so big. It's so tall. Angel up 4-1 yeah. now. Celica, I feel like, needs to try and pull the wrestler out. Maybe. Ah, oh, might work. And, like... I, I think it's what he's gonna do. I'd be surprised if we see that, because that would make too much sense. True! True. We're actually making decent time tonight. By the way. Considering how long a lot of these sets have been, we're doing pretty well, yeah. Might be because we had to DQ three people. <laughs> Wait, three? I thought it was only two. Oh, yeah, three. That's right. <laughs> yep. None of those were stream uh, matches, though. I think we played like about the same amount of stream matches, so. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Angel and Attorney Beagle. General saying uh, he needs to fight Bim. <laughs> Learn the sword matchup. Oh, true, yeah. All right. Oh, did you see what the character was? Beetle. It is Beetle still. Okay. Going to the Empyrean. A powerful counter pick here. I'm surprised we haven't seen this Helica like fighter. I think that's the correct answer here. Yo, B, welcome back. Uh, Angel and Celica right now. Angel up 4-1. The one was with Sword. <laughs> um, Angel is now on Beetle. And did alright last game, but Angel took it. <laughs> I love Beetle back throw. I'm confused beyond description. Oh god, same. I live in a state of confusion at this point. Yeah! Oh, <laughs> Angel getting his timings back on these jab mix-ups. Great spacing like on that dash for you. Ooh, I, think... I, I, I like the down throw. That, that's just when Beetle just cuddles with you. <laughs> down throw and back throw are two of my favorite animations in the entire game. And Celica with a pretty big lead right now. 
catches the release of the shield. Perfect timing. Just a couple more of these. We'll take it. There's another command grab. Great air puff from Angel. Getting back into this game. Just a little high from Celica, but he went early to avoid the dash attack, so it works out. Ooh, interesting. Celica's like sliding through some shield counters that don't look like they should be missing. I think that one was iframed on the grab. Uh... It's the power shield on Bell dash attack. One more grab for Celica will do it. But sitting down at 18 health now, and the power shield will take it. An incredibly close last couple games. Angel clutches it out. The return of Angel Bell is here.